while the American Revolution raged relentlessly on land, ships of our young Navy patrolled our coasts, guarding constantly against attack and invasion by the faster, heavier ships of the powerful British Navy. There was a third force in this tense drama of the seas. Jean Lafitte, gentleman pirate, and his swashbuckling buccaneers, manning the fastest, deadliest ships afloat. The British were trying to woo them to their cause. We desperately needed them on our side. This is the story of how our destiny was decided by a lowly, unknown seaman. His name, Hector Heathcote. <coughs> Hector Heathcote? Ships of BAPS to starboard beam, sir. Enemy ships approaching. Enemy ships approaching, sir. There, sir, there. Battle stations, battle stations. All hands on deck. Full speed ahead, chappies, and prepare for a bit of a go at it. <laughs> And your cannon, Heathcote! And your cannon! Aye, aye, sir. with keen interest. Good fight, eh, mon capitaine? Aren't we going to join in? It is not our fight, mi bucko. The brave Americans fought on valiantly. <laughs> Battered and low on ammunition, the small American vessel lay helpless. Ready, good show, chappies? One more volley will finish the bounders. My word, we have a blooming Yankee aboard. are shooting at us, no? Open fire! I say, excuse us, old chaps. It was the American, you know. You bounder. You brought the pirates into the war against us.
history tells us John Lafitte, gentleman pirate, joined the American cause and saved the day. But the real credit is due to that unknown, lowly seaman, Hector Heathcote. Hey, fellas, wait for me! Yoo-hoo, fellas, wait for me! Ruddy bad luck. There goes another colony.